haven't walked out here like this in a long time. <laughs> Germany was the starting point. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Is this card an absolute mad lad? Is this card an absolute mad lad? What's up, boys, and welcome to the Future Stars Weston Mad Lad McKenny plays for Schalke doing absolute bits this season. Weston McKinney finally gets himself a little bit of love, and in the past couple weeks, we've gone from having a decent amount of Bundesliga midfielders, I would go so far as to say a below average set of bu uh, Bundesliga midfielders, and now we've got the likes of an 86 Thomas Delaney, we've got the likes of uh, this 86 Future Stars McKenny, and then we've got a second batch of Future Stars cards coming out pretty soon, um, and uh, hopefully we get a little bit more Bundesliga love, hopefully we get a little bit more attacking uh, Bundesliga love in the form of a couple strikers, and maybe another center back, but we're going to feature a Bundesliga center back in this episode as well. As a matter of fact, we're going to feature two uh, Bundesliga, as a matter of fact, four Bundesliga defensive players that we're going to keep an eye on uh, throughout the course of this epi. Uh, and most notably, though, we're going to find out if this Weston McKenney is worth the 125,000 coin price tag that he is shipping with on the Xbox and PlayStation 4. Now, like I always say, boys, if these epis in some way, shape, or form are fun for you, if they are informative for you in terms of figuring out if you want to do the SPC, like I always say, boys, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down down below. Now, one thing that people are trying to find out about this card is, uh, again, 130,000 coins. There's a tradable card that is the same rating that uh, in some instances is better and then in some instances is a little tougher. For example, the price tag on Delaney is a little bit steeper than the untradable version of this SBC. But uh, more importantly, boys, it's Monday. Hopefully you guys are getting off to a great start. Let's crush this week. Uh, we got the stream later tonight. Going to finish all my weekend league matches and... Um, yeah, should be a fun, fun little day, boys. Uh, fun little uh, Monday stream, and then a fun little Monday video here with the Future Stars Weston McKenney. So, let's dive right into it. It's 156 total in-game step upgrade from his 81 Inform card. He obviously has a base-rated card. He got an Inform already this year, which is an 81, and then this sees a plus 5 upgrade on that. Uh, and then that, that is, like I said, 156 total in-game step upgrade. 130,000 coins is what the SBC is going for. Thomas Delaney's 86-rated card goes for 250,000 coins, so it's about 100,000 coins more on the uh, PlayStation. The X Box, I believe it's actually a little cheaper. Delaney's card is something around, uh, I think it's actually hovering around 200k, but uh, that's what we're going to compare today. We're going to actually use both of them in game. Let's get right into the stats. Medium, medium work rates. We got the three star, three star. He's got really nice height at 6'1. As you guys can see, the face stats there are pretty damn decent. 75 acceleration. We're going with the shadow chem style. He's he's a he's a card that we really want uh, to possibly consider getting on the, uh, on the RTG, but um, it, it's a pretty steep asking price. Now, if you take a look at the stats, some of these stats really, really do pop out. We're going to start, because he's a defensive player, we're going to start on the right side. 99 jumping, so I almost feel like, you know, inside the box, he's going to be very, very useful there. 93 heading accuracy, 84 interceptions, 85 defensive awareness, 87 standing tackle, 83 slide tackle. Very, very good defensive stats. I wouldn't say elite level for slide tackle interceptions, but definitely good enough for an 86 rated squad, uh, 86, uh, 86 rated card. 89 aggression I love, 90 strength I love, and then 90 stamina I love. So look at those. The 91 physical is legitimately end level stats in terms of what you would want from a defensive player. He's got nice dribbling with 84. We're not going to touch the agility. I feel like we don't need super, super crazy agility on a defensive mid. Balance is 78. Could be a little bit better there, but reactions, ball control, and dribbling is really nice. Uh, passing stats, 80 long passing, 88 short passing. Feel like maybe we could jack those off a little bit. Not really a chance creator there with those passing stats, spe specifically with the 64 curve. Going to be interesting to see what kind of box to box he is. A 92 attacking positioning with 72 finishing, uh, 90 shot power, and 83 long shots. 78 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. We've jacked all those off with a shadow. We've got Kabak, who is a really, really good looking, uh, really, really good looking Turkish player who we got on the RTG and flipped him for a profit. We got that Alfonso Davies. Delaney's going to slot in as the RCM. Uh, we're going to have McKenny as the LCM, and then we're going to test out this Caceres as well. We're going to bring on Luka Jovic, who we're going to play alongside Timo Werner, which is what we're doing on the RTG as well. Let's get into a couple matches. Let's see if there's something about this Weston McKenny card that might be worth 100,000 coins, uh, 130,000 coins. Let's see if the Alfonso Davies, who we have instruction sets to uh, get into the attack. Let's see if he's worth it. Match number one, Los Gates. If you have him on balanced, he prefers to stay back. Dribbling feels pretty decent. Doesn't feel half bad. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There we go, Alfonso. Stop moving! Wait, stop, dude. Otherwise, okay, chill.
first off, that should have been in for my... That should have been in for him. Alfonso Davies, man. I feel like Mbappé or even Rusyon gets that back. Doesn't have the greatest ball control in the world. Doesn't have the greatest agility in the world. Let's see what he's got. Delaney Fellaini. Bad pass. That's a bad pass. Ah, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it, it's, I've not been super impressed with Weston McKinney, but maybe we got something happening in the second half here. Again, it's nil-nil. Haven't, haven't conceded a goal yet, but uh, I feel like Alfonso Davies' uh, Alfonso Davies's error there probably should have cost us one. Just the movement, it, it's, God, it makes me so mad. Davies again? It makes me so mad! <sighs> but look, guys, I want this card to be good, but... I could have defended it better, I suppose, but... Two errors from uh, two errors from Alfonso Davies, man. Caceres has been the most. Uh, he's been the most impressive. He's been the most uh, impressive defensive player on the team. There we go. There we go. Kabak. Kenny. He's trying to make a name for himself, boys. He's only 21 years old. McKinney had an okay game. It wasn't anything that it wasn't anything to write home about. Uh, we literally didn't create any chances whatsoever. I feel like I didn't have it. I honestly feel like I didn't have one shot on target. Did I have one? Three shots on target. Didn't even feel that. After one game, if that's how Alfonso Davies plays at left back, he's just not for me. We got Weston. Weston and Oskan, the Bash brothers. We got Oskan tearing it up. Weston McKinney, 71 pens. I'll say this about Weston, dude. Positioning great. Defensively, feels pretty solid. Doesn't feel like a top, top level card. That's gonna be it. Lukovic. That's gonna be 2-0, boys. We're gonna keep it classy. We're gonna skip. There we go, Luka Jovic. He's in the right place at the right time. Always in the right place at the right time. Probably gonna be game. Anaki, the header, or not? Okay, four nil. Nice, McKenny. There we. Okay, another. That's another. Pu that's another. Let's say plus play. That's another plus play. There we go, Weston. I mean, this game's already sealed, but... The audacity. You see Weston? You see Weston calling things out? The audacity. Yikes. Two minutes of unintended. We get a 9.1 from Weston McKinney. He's going to get the job done for you, but he's not going to do it in a very incredibly sexy fashion. We get a win in match number two. Let's get into one more match. You know what we're going to do? We're going to swap him. Obviously, Weston McKinney's right footed. He doesn't have the weak foot. Oh, he's walking past people. Oh, my God. Come on. That's why. Go on, Weston. Great interception. That's what I love about Weston McKinney's card. Or that's one of the things I like about his card. He does his work. He gets the interception. He pa he gets the ball to his player. He does his work. Naki. First touch. Ooh, the first touch rip. Anaki Williams is not going to miss that, boys. That was all Weston McKinney in the build-up play. Got the ball back. Well done. If you're looking for ball control, you're gonna want to put a. You're gonna want to get 
You're gonna want maybe like an engine on him. Oh, he's walking past people! Go on, Weston! <laughs> there we go, Caceres again with a key interception before half. His guy could have been clean through on a breakaway. Combination of Caceres and Kabak have been very, very good. Zero shots on target for this guy. We're cleaning up with 64% possession. The sauce. The absolute... The absolute sauce. McKinney. He's right where he needs to be. Here's my best way to describe what you get with Weston McKinney. Okay? If you get the ball taken away from you on your opponent's side of the pitch, and he's on a fast break or he gets he's starting to get the ball going the other way, Weston McKinney will not only be there, but he will also sometimes score goals for you. He'll be there. That uh, Defensively, that's the main thing I noticed about the card. He'll be at that spot that you want him to be at. He might not do it the most beautifully. He might not get it done like, uh, he might not look super, super flashy. Weston McKinney, go on, you lad. Hold on. See, there's no fuss with McKinney. He's, he's like, you know what? You guys go ahead and you do what you got to do. I'm unbalanced. I know my role anyway. I'm going to send him on a manual run. And... It makes me so mad! Anaki Williams, what is he, a 50 passing? What the hell was that? Look where McKinney is, dude. He's not going to... You're going to have to set the run... To get him to get involved in the attack, you're going to have to set that up uh, manually. And if, if I went back, I'd probably put a different chem style on him. I'd probably put, I'm thinking engine, because the defensive stats are already good enough already. I'd probably put an engine to get the uh, the pace. What is it? Engine, pace, dribbling, and passing. A 9.3 from Weston McKinney. He gets himself two goals. Uh, he gets himself, what does he get? Dribbles completed 32 out of 37. Passes completed 32 out of 36. So just a very, and tackles one. Hey, four out of six tackles and one as well. A very, very solid performance. Obviously, and I would argue the best performance that, uh, the best shift that Weston McKinney's put in yet. All right, boys, we're going to go ahead and rip these packs. Now, in terms of, uh, in terms of on the pitch performance, boys, I'm going to go at, you know what? While I was playing, it wasn't like, I, I wasn't wowed by anything Weston McKinney did. Obviously, he scored a couple, he scored that, uh, banger goal outside the box. He scored scored um, a regular shot inside the box with the ball roll and then also converted a pen. Uh, so for that matter, and then all the defensive things that he did for us in terms of positioning, that's the main thing that I want to drive home is his positioning. He's exactly where he wanted to be all the time. He's not the greatest guy on the ball. You guys, you probably have to be aware of that. And again, I probably, if I went back and did it over again, I probably wouldn't do the shadow chem style. I'd probably do something that got his dribbling jacked off a little bit more. Uh, but I am going to give it a four out of five in terms of performance on the pitch. Now, in terms of value, boys, I am going to give it a three out of five. I'm a little bit meh on the value, 130,000 coins. Uh, to spend it's really gonna come down to how how much of a discount you if you can get it done for 50% of the cost If you can get it done for cheaper than that, that's all well and good If, if there were other options to go with it'd probably be mrs. Kitzel Delaney Marcel Savitzer's ultimate scream card is still really really good uh, And then obviously gets that link into Werner and then Konate if you were uh, able to get that SBC done But for me, you know guys, we got to represent got to represent USA um, So Weston McKinney as, as much as I want to say he's a slam dunk I don't think you have to do him if you want like I said a no-nonsense CDM that's got strength, that's got some of the best physical stats for a CDM in the game. Definitely slap on an agility card, uh, a, a card that gets the agility off, and I think you'll be very happy with him. If you guys do the SPC, let me know in the comment section below how he has played for you. Uh, if this episode, like I said, boys, in some way, shape, or form helps you figure out if you want to do the SPC or not, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Hopefully, like I said, you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys for a stream later tonight, uh, and we'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Cheers. Later. Adeh.